I have third party embarrassment for GB News and the other tabloids who are now, instead of speaking about what Dan Newton has done, they are trying to deflect or trying to distract people from looking into that story of Dan Newton and are now speaking about Harry and Meghan. I mean, who is the criminal here? Dan Newton is being accused of all these terrible things. He has done so much damage to a lot of people. So many people are coming out to speak about what Dan Newton has done to them. Yet instead of speaking about that, you are trying to people sympathize with Dan Newton by saying how Dan Newton was fighting back tears as he denies the smear campaign allegations. They were saying that. Imagine. And even GB News right now is talking about how Prince Harry and Meghan are facing a living hell as pressure builds on Sussexes. That is just to distract people from what is actually going on with Dan Wooten. But then, why are they using Meghan and Harry? There are so many other people. There's these other members of the royal family who are doing things which actually are mind-blowing, but then... They are not even trying to report on that. They're just focusing so much on Harry and Meghan. Why is it so? Or is it because of the connection that Dan Wooten has with these other members of the royal family, specifically Prince William? Because we all know very well that from the moment that Dan Wooten actually reported on the story of Kate Middleton falling out with Rose Hanbury, that was the beginning of Dan Newton actually not speaking badly about Prince William and Kate and he started speaking so badly about Harry and Meghan. So there is a very a huge connection between Dan Newton and these other members of the royal family. So now they're trying to deflect on what Dan Newton has done and, and try to make people focus on what on Harry and Meghan. We all know very well that Prince Harry and Duchess Meghan are not facing any living hell because there's no pressure building up on the Sussexes. But if I may actually correct on this, I think that this news should have read that Prince William and Kate are facing a living hell as pressure builds on the wealth because we all know that Dan Wooten is their friend. So bearing in mind what is going on right now with Dan Wooten I know that it's posing a lot of pressure right now on Kate Middleton and William because what if Dan Wooten actually goes down and he decides that he's going to go down with everyone whom he has the secrets. I know that the pressure is real on William and Kate's side and it's not Harry and Meghan. So this is just projection as usual and trying to distract people from what is actually going on. And then page six also started these rumors saying that rumors swirl there's trouble in paradise for Prince Harry and Meghan Markle. The same thing that GB News was trying to talk about. But we all know that this is just false and I even loved it because Prince Harry and Meghan's friend came in to defend Prince Harry and Meghan by saying that this is BS. You can see that after they wrote that tweet saying that rumors swirl this trouble in paradise for Prince Harry and Meghan Markle, Prince Harry's friend, that is Nacho Figueras, wrote, commented BS on that post. Because this is total BS, right? Why would they even come up with such lies? They know very well that there is no trouble in Harry and Meghan's marriage. Harry and Meghan are literally doing so well. They are so happy together. The other day you saw Megan at the farmer's market. Did she look like someone who's stressed to you? Did Megan look like someone who's going through any trouble? At least from my end, I saw as though Megan looked very, very happy. She just looked like she was free and living her life. And the other time also when Megan and Prince Harry stepped out holding hands looking so happy, did that look like people who are having some trouble in, in their home? Of course not. But every time William and Kate appear in public, they always look like people who are actually from punching each other. They look like people who've been on top of each other the whole day. So, so you can't really compare Harry and Meghan's marriage to William and Kate's. 
William and Kate are the ones who are having trouble in their marriage. So every time the media tries to say that there's trouble in paradise for Harry and Meghan, just know that they are actually talking about Prince William and Kate. Because no one speaks for Harry and Meghan. If Harry and Meghan want to come out to the public and say anything, they will do so. They are not going to uh, let sources speak for them. So these people, the way that they keep coming out saying that there is trouble in paradise and quoting sources is just so embarrassing. So Dan Newton yesterday was talking about how there's, there's a witch hunt against him, talking about how people are trying to bring down GB News. Yet we all know that no one is actually on a witch hunt against Dan Newton. Everything that people are saying are from evidence from other people. It's from accusations that other people have actually put on Dan Wooten. No one is just making up stories about Dan Wooten and, report and reporting on them. These people who report on things about Dan Wooten have actually had these experiences with Dan Wooten. Whereas the media is talking about Prince Harry and Meghan and wanting, they actually want Harry and Meghan to separate. You know that, right? Because how else can you explain them uh, printing all these articles every day talking about how Harry and Meghan are going to break up or how uh, there is trouble in paradise when Harry and Meghan have confirmed over and over again, even uh, through their friends, even their friends confirming that Harry and Meghan are doing great. How, how else can you explain that? I think that this witch hunt which Dan Newton was talking about is actually Harry and Meghan and the taking down is related to Harry and Meghan because the media is so focused on taking down Prince Harry and Meghan. They just want to see Harry and Meghan separating. I think that will make them very, very happy. But it's sad, it's sad news to report to them that Harry and Meghan are not actually going to divorce anytime. They're never actually going to divorce because seeing the love that Harry and Meghan have for each other, I don't think that all any wishes of these derangers is going to actually come true. And they should know that the more they actually try to separate Harry and Meghan, the more Harry and Meghan grow are closer and closer. You see, what God has put together, no one can separate. No one can put asunder what God has put together, and that is Harry and Meghan. So no matter how much the media try to wish that Harry and Meghan separate, that is never going to happen. Instead of them speaking all these lies about Harry and Meghan, why don't they focus on the truth of what Dan Wooten has actually done? I think that would do them a lot of favor, right? Because... Maybe for once we'd see as though they don't uh, create the news, they report the news. But then they're not willing to do that because they know very well that their work is just to create the news. They don't report on any news. Because why are they sympathizing so much right now with Dan Newton and are spreading all these sympathetic um, articles about Dan Newton, how he was about to cry and then go ahead and speak lies about Harry and Meghan. Please, they should stop with this hypocrisy. And I just loved how people were responding to GB News after their story of saying that Prince Harry and Meghan are facing a living hell as pressure builds up on Sussexes. And people were actually, I think, making a joke out of what uh, the GB News had written and someone even commented by putting a picture of Dan Wooten looking like a clown and say that pressure is building on Martin Branning and his mate Crafty. And another person was like, hashtag Dan Wooten exposed, is, uh, why is he still on our screens? Serious allegations. I know, right? Why is Dan Wooten still on people's screens? That man should be in jail right now. And another person was like, Nothing on Martin Branning. And another person was like, Oh, I think the someone facing a living hell is a little closer to home for you. I know, right? They should stop reporting on Harry and Meghan. Instead, they should report about Dan Newton because he is closer to them than Harry and Meghan. And another person was like, We know you 
Hashtag Dan Newton Exposed is all we want. All other distractions only work on your deranged fandoms. I know I can't agree with this person more. Like, all other distractions are not going to work because we know that the main topic right now is Dan Newton and him being exposed and then and then trying to play victim after everything that he's done. But that, this is not going to work this time because even if they try to bring Harry and Meghan into this tro- story or try to distract people from what Dan Newton actually did, actually did, we are not going to just let this story go away. We are still going to talk every day about Dan Newton and his monstrous actions and and every little bad thing that Dan Wooten has done until Dan Wooten is put where he deserves. Right? What do you think about this? What do you think about um, GB News trying to deflect from what is actually going on by mentioning Harry and Meghan? And also Page Six trying to put up a story about Harry and Meghan. But thankfully, Prince Harry's friend came and uh, answered, answered them appropriately. Let me know what you think and I'll see you all squaddies on the next podcast. Have a wonderful and amazing day. Goodbye.